Okay, so here we have a Pi board, some LEDs controlled from 5 volts via the Pi board on pins via transistors, and we have the magic five position switch that so many guitarists know very well. Here we have our code. This is a test of the interrupt code version of this function. So we initialize it and we see that in effect the red lead is actually on and we're in the middle position. Now if we go to the right intermediate position we get both and we see that there was an interrupt received on the right pin actually twice because there was a certainly a bounce. But for, let's look at what happens here. So if we go from the right or more, now we're alone. The far right, both, middle, both left, and then far left. Each time we see that the interrupts are handled properly and everything works as expected. However, if we click once, we, we will find that there are occasionally bounces. We see middle pin, there was a bounce there. Left pin, no bounce. Right pin, no bounce. Middle pin, middle pin, there was a bounce. Middle pin, middle pin, there was a bounce. Right pin. So there are occasional bounces, but it's of no consequence given the way the code is written so cleverly, Nespa. That's all. This code can be found on GitHub, and it's just an example of how you can use interrupts as opposed to polling. Okay, in this part of the demo, we've replaced the selector, the five position selector, by some uh, tactile push buttons and a small RC filtering uh, circuit to try to do some hardware de debouncing. We have a 4.7K uh, resistor and a 100 nanofarad capacitor between uh, the V in of the microprocessor microcontroller pin and ground. And that should uh, hopefully filter. All right, we can start it up now and it's it's been knitted. So now, first of all, to watch to see what happens, every time I click, it toggles the, the corresponding uh, lead. But what we want to see is the results. We want to see if we're pushing on the right pin, we don't want to see any spurious, spurious reactions on the other pins. What I had before was sometimes by pushing on one pin that caused via the capacitor uh, a reaction on the other pins, which is what we absolutely don't want. We want to make sure everything is clean. So here we're pushing on the right pin. We saw there's absolutely nothing happening. Pushing on the middle pin, Still absolutely nothing happening on any of the other pins. Left pin now, we see no other uh, interrupts being generated, which is what we want. Pre prior to this, without the uh, resistor, just having a capacitor between the, the output and ground led to uh, in, uh, indirect interrupts being generated. I, don't even explain, I can't explain that exactly, but uh, in any case, Putting a little resistor in seems to have cleared it up, and this has had no impact on the actual switching and the detecting of detecting of edges. So it's pretty good, pretty good little uh, work. Again, this is only possible because of the incredible flexibility of Python. Thank you.